Hi, I'm Gio and welcome to my first RuneScape video. In the background I have some videos running from my early hours of getting back into the game. Uh, but first I want to explain what my plans are for the near future. As we know, we have some extra spare time because of the drama going on. So I hope the best health and well-being for you. Let's get started. So the first thing you can see in the background is Barrows. Um, I always had the habit that when I started back in RuneScape, <laughs> I go straight Barrows. Because I know it's a common thing, well it's not common, but it's something I know that can rebuild your bank. And it's very fun, it's very fun. And now very rewarding as well with the Elite Clues. Also very fun, I really love doing those, but sadly, sadly, I did not have the requirements for this elite clue, so that's the first elite down, sadly. But we'll manage to do this quest in the near future. About quests, um, we definitely have some new goals, because um, the, the last time I played RuneScape, I actually got a questscape and quit the game. <laughs> I, I just quit the game. I had my goal and it was done and work was very busy as well so I did not really have a reason to keep playing. Now I'm back and there are plenty of new quests, there there are a lot of new things actually. I didn't know that. So ah, it's so it's so nice to see some innovation within the 07 scape and there's so much new things to explore. So still hanging in the comfort zone, we went to Bandos with some uh, friends, or I went to Bandos with some friends. I went to Bandos with some friends, and yeah, in the beginning we did not get any luck, but yeah, hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get a nice item someday, or in this video. Would be nice. Good startup for the monies. Uh, as of now, my bank is 30 million, so that's not very much. But yeah, it's a good startup. And I, I was thinking about getting rid of the money and uh, starting a whole new chapter. But yeah, I, to make myself actually play the game, I, I, it was comfortable to have some money. So I stick to it and just slowly getting back into the game, getting some uh, shitty drops here and there. But yeah. The grind begins soon. So still at, bar still, still at Barrows, I did like uh, 10, 20 chests. And then I was like, oh man, I really, really need to get this diary done. Because uh, the Mauritania diary gave 50% more runes. Ah, that's, that's a big upgrade, because I always knew Barrows was a very good money maker. Well, actually a very good fun money maker for me at least. And with that extra upgrade, oh, so beautiful. But yeah, sadly, uh, here in the background you see um, another clue being done. I had to get some requirements for that as well. The fire making thing, uh, never like. I don't get how I never actually did that before, but. Yeah, I didn't, so... Huh. Well, we got a clue, so that gave us motivation to actually get the mini thing. And I did all of it, except for um, burning the pyre ships. I'm, I think they are called pyre ships. But yeah, it was too much of a hassle. Uh, I didn't care too much. I just had to kill a water fiend and get out. So as we're going to kill this uh, little water fiend that has to die... Um, I actually was a bit stupid, because I thought the Mithril Dragons were right beneath the Whirlpool, but they're not. <laughs> so here goes Dio with his Protect from Magic, jumping down, and there's nothing there. Well, alright. So I killed the Water Fiend and got the fuck out of there, because it took an age to kill this guy. Like, for real, no joke. A uh, minimal of a minute to kill this water fiend. I don't get how people do this on their Slayer task. Or if they even do it. Because why Why would you? They drop shit? For as far as I know. Maybe maybe the drop table is, is enhanced, but I doubt it. Oh, well, we finally got our casket and... 
Yeah, it's shit. But that's our actual first elite clue that I've done. I thought, oh, I've done one before, but nope, I did not. Thanks uh, for the rune light though, because it really, really speeds up those clues. I really like clues doing it myself, but yeah, I like the speed as well. <laughs> it makes things a lot, a lot more easy. So I think I got to 50 barrows chest count. Well, we have to see, but uh, I really enjoy the barrows grind. It's so fun. Oh yeah, there's my actual first item. The Gudan's War Spear. I was like, oh, 500k. It was an actual 1.2. So, well, as a first drop, that's very nice. Very nice. And from this point on, I think I did some more chests. But I really, really wanted to get that Mauritania Diary. So, figuring out what the best way was to get the Mauritania Diaries. Because I had to train agility. To do so, I had to go to Sia's village and train on the rooftop course there. To do so, this even more effectively, I wanted to do the Kenderin Diary, so I could teleport to the Sears Bank, which speeds up things a lot, and also makes it way more enjoyable. As I figured out how to do it, um, I, s I quit Barrows at 55 chests, uh, sold my drops, so my Thorax Warhammer and my Gutan Spear, which made like one and a half mil, it was very nice. Also the runes uh, added up from the 10 chests that I did. It wasn't a lot, but yeah, for starting money it was plenty. So now the adventure of the diary began. Um, the first thing I did was get 65 fire making, as it was a requirement for the Kendrin diaries. Uh, after that, I was looking for the remaining requirements which was 70 fletching, 70 fishing, which I could boost from 65, so it was just one level to get. And I missed it here, but I had to get 75 smithing as well. So we had some priorities and some achievements to get. And the first thing I did was the fire making because it was easy. I also had to get 60 agility to get the Sears rooftop course. And it was also a preparation for training agility overall, so it was good to get it out of the way. In the meantime, I did some elking. I did it with Onyx Bolts to save some money. Well, at least at that moment it saved some money. Uh, I got my fletching here. It was very easy with the darts. It's incredibly, incredibly fast, but also pretty expensive. In the meantime, I got invited to do some bendels with my friends. And yeah. We got pretty lucky, man. We had like five trips and we got a Bender's chest plate. Bloop. Oh man, it was so good to see that. 20 mil on the ground, 7 mil split. Oh, I was so, so happy. <laughs> I can't describe it because that actually, it's one sixth of my bank at that moment. So, poo. Here my 7 mil cut. Uh, the rest of the drops aren't really, yeah, they don't give too much, but... In the end, they, they do add up. I also put in a little clip of a birdhouse run, as I never knew they existed and it's great passive hunter X. We are nearing the end of the video. Um, I put in the last clips of getting my 75 smithing. So that means we have the Kenderin Diaries uh, requirements out of the way. So for now, this will be the video. I thank you so, so much for watching. And if you have something that I can improve or well I have a lot to improve because it's my first video but please let me know because the key is to <laughs> make something exciting for you guys so if you like the video please leave a like and again thank you so much for watching peace out brother